Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. I am Jeremy, your host, and in this episode we are going to be doing a fresh install of Fog Project 1.5.5. This is the latest and greatest version released in November of this year. It has been several months since I've done a Fog video and so this is going to kick off our new Fog series. This is part one, probably of a three or four part series. So let's get started and have some fun with fog. Okay, we are here at the fog project download page. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to copy our link location. Okay, so we can minimize our Firefox. We're going to go in VirtualBox to our Fog Master. I have done a clean install of Ubuntu 18.04 LTS Server Edition, and we'll go ahead and start that up. I have done the install. I've run all the updates as of when I'm recording this on the 16th of December and so what we're going to do is we are going to log in and grab the IP address and then I'm going to connect to it via SSH from my Mac and we will do the install from there. Now while this is happening if you have seen my previous fog videos I took a little bit different uh, approach when I did those. Previously, I had set up the Fog machine with two network cards, one on the production network so that the machine would have internet access, and one separate network just for imaging. In this new series, I have only put in one virtual network card. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to change the setting in my Unify controller so that it points at the FOG server IP address to kick off the TFTP process for Pixie Boot. And we're also going to, in the Unify controller, specify the file name that we're going to uh, use to kick off the boot process. We'll get to that in a few minutes. First thing we need to do, though, is we're going to log into our FOG server here. And we're going to grab our IP address, IP space A. And we're on 74.186. So I'm going to move this over here. And we are going to launch Terminal on the Mac. And we'll get connected and we will kick off this installation process. I'm going to make this a little bit larger so everybody can see this. We are going to connect to the Fog Master virtual machine. And as you can see, we are now connected. So we do ls-l, we have no directories at this point. So we're actually going to make, um, we're going to make a downloads directory and we're going to change into that. And we're going to use wget to pull down the file from the website and we will just paste in the URL and in another moment or two we will have our tarball downloaded. We are going to do an extract okay 
And then we're going to change into fog project, the bin directory, clear our screen. And we're going to run this install fog.sh. Before we do that, let's take a look at what it's actually doing. This is our install script. There are quite a few things in here. There's a help function, which we'll talk about different things there. Help uh, topics and send you to different places. And this goes through and has some different logic in here to find out some things about your system. Scroll down through here and we should be getting down here to some information. Uh, so there's a display banner, uh, echo the version, the installer version, and we've got some variables set in here for the range, uh, send range, some export stuff, uh, this is triggered if it found a previous install. So if you're going to do an upgrade and come down here some more. And this is where in the process it's asking you some questions. And then we have this block that's echoed to the screen. Um, Fog is everything it needs for the setup. Blah, blah, blah. And it says here are the settings Fog will use. Uh, Linux Base OS, that'll give you your information about your distribution, your IP address, subnet mask, and the interface that you're installing on. Normal versus storage server. And notes that if you're using a Linux DHCP server, you must set next server and file name which is actually equivalent to setting options, DHCP options 66 and 67 respectively. So it goes through things about MySQL. It says installation started and it will just go through and it will make sure everything has run properly. It's configuring uh, several services, so HTTP, uh, storage, DHCP, TFTP, and Pixie, FTP, things for your snap-ins, uh, UDP cast, some fog services, and yeah, so if you haven't gone through the install script it's it's an interesting experience to look through it so let's go ahead and kick this off sudo i can't type today install fog.sh and it asks for a password and again, this is what we saw in the installer. So it's going to detect the version or um, the base for your uh, Linux distribution, whether it's Red Hat based, Debian based, or Arch. Uh, this has correctly detected a Debian base. I'm using Ubuntu server again. And it's saying that it might have to reinstall some things. Yes, that's fine. We're going to do a normal install this time around. Hit enter. We are at 186 for a, an IP address. 74.186, which is on my production network. And we'll use this when we go and make the change in the Unifon controller here in a few minutes. So we'll hit enter on that. 
Uh, we don't want to change the network interface. Set up router address for DHCP server, yes. And that is my router IP address. Would you like DHCP to handle DNS? Yes. And this address is fine. Would you like to use the FOG server for DHCP service? No, in this case, we don't need to install internationalization if you're outside of the US or England or India where everybody or almost everybody speaks English, you may want to change this. Uh, that is completely up to you when you go through this process. And so this just gives you the list back and we will say yes, we want to continue. So while this is running, we are going to jump over to our unified controller. Okay, so we'll log in. And for Unify, we need to come down here to Settings, Networks, and this is my main LAN. We'll edit. And if we come under Advanced DHCP Options, so our server is 186. And the uh, specified file name from the documentation is UNDI only KPXE. We'll save that. We should see the USG is provisioning. And so by the time we actually get through our Fog install. This will be all provisioned. We'll be ready to go and we can do some testing. So on that note, I am going to step away from the computer for just a few moments while this is going through its install process. And when I come back, we will finish this up. We'll do a little bit of basic testing and we'll talk about what's going to happen in the upcoming videos. We'll see you in just a few moments. We've got the basic install done. We'll jump back over to our browser. And we need to click install and update now. And install update successful, so we jump back to our terminal, we hit enter, and it will start up the different services, and then we can do our initial login to the web interface. All right, so it's reporting back to us the URL where we can reach the server and the username, default username is fog, and the default password is password, both of which are lowercase. So, jump over to our browser once again, click here to log in. Logging with fog and password.
and it shows us the main dashboard. If we want to do a quick test of this, let me bring up another VM. Let's see. Let's go to settings for this one. And I'm not going to go through the whole process, but I just want to go through at least the registration. So we'll go to system, turn on network, say OK. And so when we power this on, we want to hit F12 as soon as we see our window come up. And then L to boot from the LAN. And we want to perform a full host registration and inventory. And it should start asking us some questions here shortly. Hosting this computer. We're just going to call it clear us. We're not going to associate with an image. And basically, we're just going to answer no to all these. Would you like to display an image? No. Attempting to register host without imaging. And it should try to restart after we're done with this because we have not instructed it. Otherwise, we've not changed settings in fog yet. So. The point of this is to come back to fog and look at hosts, list all hosts, and we've got our clear OS in the list. So this gives us the basic structure, the basic settings, the test to make sure that we know that yes this is working we can connect to this tftp is operational we're booting over the network without an issue in the next video we are going to repeat the install process which in that video i will speed that up quite significantly repeat the process the big difference is going to be that we're going to select a storage node install instead of a regular fog server install, normal install. When we come to the end of that, it will prompt us with a username and password that we will need to enter in the fog console so that the two servers are talking to each other. Once we have them connected, it will give us an additional member of this dropdown for the storage disk usage. This is Jeremy signing off. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up, subscribe, and leave comments below.